Good morning. This video lecture is explains how to extract spectral signature of vegetation water bodies on remote sensing data in NV. Open in a, your any satellite data as a practical point of view to I already display I mean provided as such data. Before that I just explain what are these features on NV toolbar. So NV is basically image processing software which will extract spectral signature, a land use land cover classification, atmospheric correction, geometric corrections, filters, transformations and map projection, topographic features and radar image processing. So this file is consisting as normal as usual image uh, softwares and like openings any images like image file or vector data which we are using in GIS platform. But since we are working on the satellite data, so if you want to open a specified specific satellite data sets like Inkeyes, Iconos, Spot Data, Landsat, QuickBird, or IRS Indian Remote Sensing Satellite Series. So it is having each satellite data is having their own extension formats. So directly you can open these tools. And we have Earth Observation Satellites, EOS, UOM, that is which we have a Hyperion tool. So like that all the image process like satellite based also you can directly open. But sometimes you may need to open image processing software concerns. Suppose in client, they may work previous work in the other image processing software, maybe like Redas Imagine or Air Mapper, Earth Resource Mapper and PCA Geomatica, so on. So you want to open that extension file then directly you can open or suppose you have a generic format like BMP, HDF, JPG, GeoTIFF like that also you can open. So for instance we have a Aster data directly which you can open from the file. Then other tool is the basic tools where you can do resizing the sample data, subsetting the area. Suppose you want to work a small area then you can subset it rotate the files and layers tracking when you have a number of bands you don't want to work all the bands you want to work on the two bands then you can layers track it just take those two bands and work out and convert this data into the BSQ, BAL, BPL format that is band, se band sequential format, band interval format, band interval by pixels and you want to go for the statistics of the image you can go for a and chain detection studies, measuring tools, you want to measure the area and some calculation of using band math, you can use the spectral band. So region of interest, you want to get it, these are the basic tools. And sometimes you want to go for the pre-processing using calibration, utility, sometimes especially going for the land side data, so you can use these things, maybe flash, atmospheric correction, this is a tool. Then there is a classification uh, tool where you can go for this Supervised classification, unsupervised classification, decision tool, and member collections, post post classification assessment where you can go for the how the confusion matrix changed and how what are the different class statistics after classification. Then you want to go for the any transformation on your satellite data, image sharpening, band showing, and color transformation, NDA, tessel cap, all these things is available. Then filters, yes, you can go for the enhancement technique, a texture filter, adaptive filter, and convolution morph filters and FFT filter. And you can define your own filter if you want it. Then if you want to do some spectral analysis, yes, you have a, a, a spark tools, vegetation analysis, vegetation submissions, especially those who want to go for the vegetation indices. And uh, you have a spectral math where band math you are doing in the basic tools, same way spectral math you can do that. And flash corrections where atmospheric corrections if you want to do that. Then the basic map information also you can generate. 
you want to register with the two different maps with where the georeference is not done using different specified satellites also is there or you want to georeference your auto reflectification mosaic where you want to you have a different satellite scenes you want to mosaic and you want to stitch it you can do that on pixel based or georeference based then you can go for the vector format sometimes you need to use for the vector subsetting and the polygons using polygons lines points then this is also useful topographic where you can generate the digital elevation models and go for the topographic modeling the slope analysis extracting slope aspects highest point and peak point in the steady area and all this is possible and 3d surface also it is it can be possible and the out bathymetric where you are using for the oceanographic application yes radar tool also is available where you can go for the radar processing now this is all about your nv toolbar then i'm going to open my data set which i already open or you can directly open it i have already opened my raw data for uh, nv so here i'm trying to explain you how to extract spectral signature on land set like uh, asteroid data so once you as soon as you open the satellite data so you will have this available band list so this window is giving you whatever the band information existed so you can verify how many bands is there from here you can see what are the spectral resolution spatial resolution and uh, how how what on what projection it is there in the map so that you can check it out for instance so keep your windows or screen properly organized so that so for well convenient purpose i'm keeping this window aside then make this is a little bit bigger so that you can see the complete file path so once data is open so asteroid is having a 14 bands so which consists from 0.55 nanometer till 11.31 nanometer so it is having a four bands first three bands consisting near visible near infrared which is band 1 has having 0.55 band 2 is having 0.66 band 3 is having 8 so this three is mostly useful for the image interpretation purpose the next band is having band 3b which is useful for the uh, 3d visualization and band 1 uh, 3 n is a nothing n is nothing but nadi b is nothing but bay, uh, backward so these two is a stereo pair images that is useful for the digital elevation model extraction from there you can extract dm parameters like slope aspects and uh, shader relief maps and all so other bunch of satellite like uh, bands is existing short wave infrared which is falling into the band 4 to the band 9 again if you see the electromagnetic spectrum 1.65 2 to 2.4 it is occupied then other set of uh, bands like thermal infrared band where it is covering in the electromagnetic spectrum 8.29 to 11.3 and that all like 10 bands to 11 bands around 5 uh, bands is falling into thermal band which is useful for the temperature estimation now i'm trying to load and if you want to know about the map information like which projection it is and spatial resolution of this images so once you click the map info you have all this projection parameters gtm projection which zone it is covered and what is the spatial resolution of this image 15 meter is the spatial resolution of first these three bands and what is the left corner image map image what is the rotation sometimes you want to overlay two images we have to make sure all these parameters should be same the same way if you click the uh, short wave infrared but this resolution may be different if you see this resolution is almost uh, uh, 30 meter resolution okay so like that you can check it out what is the map projections if you want to change your projection parameters uh, right clicking on the edit things then 
I am trying to open this data in the Please click on find name. This is a find name. This is a band. Once you click the band, it won't open like this. So find name should be a, a right click so that you will have a two options. One is load true color and true CIR. So I'm going to load a true color. So in class, we already seen in true color, you are not able to identify some of the features like where the dense forest is existed. And most of the features you are in so much confusion, but based on the image interpretation keys, and seven human image interpretation is some of the feature you can identify especially where the vegetation is having that is very difficult to identify so this is your uh, uh, true color once as soon as you loaded this true color you will find three windows in the NV so this is called image window the bigger size and this is a where full image is able to see this scroll window where full image is going to cover whatever the red point like red the box is able to see that is area is covered in this image window again in that image window wherever the box you are able to see that area is able to zoom in 4x in the uh, zoom box so these you know these things will useful when you are collecting the sample carefully a small sample sometimes you have to collect in the coarse resolution images so always zoom window collecting samples on the zoom window is safer side so it is taking time is having so much time so so this is a load I mean I have loaded this image and you can you see this is the entire box whatever the area is covered so this is the entire area is zooming here but same portion where this zoom box is in uh, image window it is covering this area but sometimes it's very difficult to interpret it now I will load this image into false color and same area and see how the features can be visible properly and right click on image file not like a band on band it should be an image and if you want to load on the same image a window you can open this but I want to in a new window so load CIR color infrared or sometimes used to call the FCC false color composition where that can be replaced that band combination is green red infrared band but BGR combination blue green red that is true color so this is my image uh, true color sorry false color FCC or colored infrared I replaced I mean I included the color infrared band so theoretically if you know that uh, vegetation due to chlorophyll A and B reflected more in the infrared region that is the reason whatever red color you are able to see on the image that is vegetation so even some water bodies can you able to see So I just showing I'm just showing the same area since both are georeference same images click on right click you have an option called geolink so even home like number of bands and number of images even though same georeference so if you on this option geolink on so both images can be seen in same places so I'm putting all uh, these images uh, in geolink Yes, I want to both in geolink. Let me say, sorry, I'm putting a both display one, display two, display one means this is a left side one. Now, if I move the cursor, the same place will be displayed in the FCC also. Can you see in the zoom images? 
it must be same. So how you are going to interpret it? Just walk through this complete image, how it is looks like. So there are a number of water bodies, wastelands, and uh, yes, can you see there is a urban features you are able to identify there are different water bodies where based on the shallowness and durability colors also is changing now i will close my uh, two color i will try to collect my vegetation uh, spectral signature i just want to study my spectral signature So, when you are taking a spectral signature, so always you have to select the samples that is using ROI, region of interest, or called AOI. Sometimes some software it is called area of interest. So, I am keeping my window properly on the website. Okay, drag this, just drag this image. So, all your three windows automatically will come together. I need to drag scroll image and zoom image. So now, now I'm trying to take a sample. So I want to see how the spectral signatures is. Is going to be so for collecting samples, you have to use a region of interest or area of interest. Right click on image, you will have a shortcut, region of interest. Just collect the tool, ROI tool, put into the proper place. Then, for instance, I want to see water depth, I mean, water bodies, uh, spectral signature of water bodies in the steady area. So, to collect the ROI tool or collecting samples, so I told you already, you have to preferably you just see the window. That means this one where you have to collect the samples. So preferably I will go into the zoom window since the zoom window is having a refined pixels. Okay. Then you have to select ROA type. Preferably I will collect the box rectangle. But sometimes you want to see uh, like buildings properties. So since the resolution is very coarse. So, you are not able to take the, you know, uh, uh, rectangle. So, you can select the point, you can click that point, then sample will collect. That purpose point line, even you want to take the road uh, uh, spectral signature, you have to take the lines. So, so, for that purpose, they provided all these options, polygons, uh, polyline, point and rectangle. For instance, I am selecting a rectangle. Now, select, select the window, I am selecting a zoom window. So once you set the window, type your ROI, this is a water sample, water sample, one, just enter. Now simply I am taking, just click here in your image window, of course it won't collect the sample since you are given window priority in zoom window, until unless, then once you got the zoom window, just click here drag how many pixels you want properly then leave your left button right click so sample is collected so a sample is collected into plus uh, ROI region of it. then one more sample I am collected go to the new region type it water sample Then go to the some other water body where you feel different colors. Yeah, can you see you have a uh, some water body where you are able to see dark and bluish color. So I am taking some sample here. So 
carefully you can select just drag hold or a left key the left mouse key then drag it leave it and right click so the sample is collected into the array the number of pixel basically then go to the new region yeah why it is not taken roi uh, water sample or uh, which i already typed the reason is you have to type then enter water sample 2 then enter it will save otherwise it won't save enter enter right the same way select the reason find some of the water bodies where this image very shallowness is there I mean different colors so wherever you feel that okay what exactly can you see you have a different water samples here this image so carefully I am moving this into up yeah little bit further left side so that yeah so I am collecting this sample light bluish color one so I am collecting this one sample water sample carefully you can collect small portion right click take it the sample okay. now can you go to and collect one more sample again Water sample for innovation. Water sample for the center. Done. Now I just want to collect this sample. This dark blue, one. I mean light blue color. Yeah, this one. So carefully collect the some sample here. Right click here. So, if you want to save this survey, you can always save. For instance, I am not saving. If you want, you can save save as spectral signature underscore ROA and on what data steady area then year. So that tomorrow, if you want to retrieve, it is easy to retrieve. Now, I am I just want to draw how the spectral signature. Go to the classification tool. There is n number collection. n member collection as soon as you are selecting n member collection you will have a classification input file that means on which input data you are collected the sam samples so once you open this you will have all available band list file names so we have a four file names so that four file names will appear but you have to select input file the first one which is having visible infrared near infrared which is having three bands so i'm selecting input file once you selected all file, in, file information coming so whatever the ma uh, resolution uh, the description wise what is the file format what is the dimension of the image everything will come so i don't want to disturb anything just select ok So once you collected that, then you can able to see the end number collection parameters. The immediately you will, you will find the end number collection parameter window. Here it is asking and import whatever data, I mean spectral sample collected, you have to import this end number collection parameter. For that, you just go to the import option you have a lot so many options suppose you have collected some sample from somewhere else from the ASCII format that you can get it you have a spectral library which you created from the previous work that you can collect it but for instance I have ROI input data so I am collecting and selected this as soon as you select it you will have all this ROI which you collected that list will come so 
polyvalent water samples information got it select all these items otherwise it won't import to the then open and say okay then it will import to the n member collection parameters so computing all these statistics then you got all this into this n member collection so each water sample spectra is going to be drawn in the x axis is your electromagnetic spectrum wavelength that is 0.55 to uh, 0.80 uh, uh, since you are collected three banks only okay then can you draw this you will have a plot option just plot this you will have a n member collection spectrum just keep this window aside for instant i don't want now since i want ro tool and the curve so that i just want to interpret it myself okay this is my ro uh, n member collection window now i just want to put uh, this uh, key, keyword so that there is a plot key so that automatically the which color is represent just like a legends it will come now can you observe carefully with the two curves the red one and the green one so what happened red one and green one reflectance red one is where we have taken sample just go to the ro this is a red color click here okay the star is indicate that you are selected that then go to so that wherever you are collected sample it will go no you have to collect right right yeah this one yes go to so i have collected the sample this is ocean sagar lake in hyderabad yes depth is very high so first this graph this area is rep indicates where this a blue green patches uh, ranges in wavelength x axis this is indicate the shallowness of the water body so this shallow is very low so whatever the rays is coming from the sun it is going to be down it is not extract i mean reflected much it transmitted it absorbed then what happened so that means this is having a very depth right then what happened and here after this maybe after 6.5 so you have a 8 uh, that means where it is a infrared region it is going to be a in increased the reflectance value but can you come to the green where we have taken green yeah collect the green and go to the option where i have collected the yes so i have a collected uh, green samples where the water bodies can you theoretically say uh, do i mean if you say that the depth wise yes depth wise comparative is less but the if you say theoretically when the reflectance is going to be less when you are going increasing the wavelength that means increasing the infrared region yes this is going to be proper way that means this water body is uh, seems to be a good water body portable water body that is true this is a miralam lake in hyderabad but what happened this red color usain sagar reflectance is going to be very high i mean it is going to be increased the reason is in this usain sagar layer Usain Sagar layer is a, of almost a waste water dumping one as well as the Usain Sagar layer is has having so much phytoplankton so since the phytoplankton is reflecting more into the infrared region at the same time solid waste also is there so it is increased the same way shallowness can you see the blue and uh, yellow so we'll just analyze this blue and yellow see can you see the uh, blue one where we have taken a very shallow water body just can you see here yeah so this is a just water body which is not having so much depth so immediately all rays is reflected so that is the reason reflectance is going to be 80% compared to other one so this is how we have to interpret a uh, water sample the same way you can interpret it this image like uh, plot you can always print into the black and white images so how to do all those things just go to the uh, data parameters you can play with that you can change the x axis ranges y axis ranges 
and uh, change the background values change the legends value like water sample i have given now you decided you know that this is a ocean saga then you can rename that ocean saga instead of water sample one and so so data parameters you are able to see here now so it is going to be very slow yeah now you have uh, all this option so i don't want to make uh, all this uh, into uh, like color so usually in soft like uh, journal people journal when you are submitting to the research paper uh, to the journal so they will ask you mostly preferably black and white images so i just want to change now i decided uh, suppose i am giving a uh, this is on say sagar lake i find like so that you are giving these samples to the your uh, planners yes ocean sagar lake the reflectance value is very high and the analyst can say that it is having so much uh, uh, solid waste and uh, so thing so same sagar lake so i just want to change this red into black before that i need to change the black so i will change it you can change automatically these things will change into our uh, uh legends as well as getting to the uh, so like that you have to prepare all your graphs then interpretation with the uh, features how it is coming so same way you have to follow with the vegetation spectral analysis mm -hmm. 